Are you guys coming home with rockfish fillets? Stop! What about bringing home a whole rockfish? My name is Yanni, this is Fisherman's Belly, and I'm going to teach you guys how to grill a whole rockfish just like they do in the Mediterranean. The first thing we're going to do is fire up the barbecue. Alright gang, so we are going to make a complete meal. We're going to include a Mediterranean coleslaw. God, I've got some secrets to share with you guys. I'm going to show you how to make the most insane coleslaw. So we're going to grill our fish. We're going to put it on a bed of this Mediterranean coleslaw. We're going to grill up some bread. And what kind of a complete meal would you have without a big bottle of blonde ale? So today we're going to be drinking some blonde ale that I got from Trader Joe's. Okay? <laughs> I can't wait. Anyway, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use our super Whammerdyne magical machine here and we're going to slice up our coleslaw while our coals are getting hot, so let's get going. So I love this thing because it allows me to cut up this coleslaw just as fine as it can be and that's exactly what we want. The cabbage is cut up finely. Let's put it in a big salad bowl. I'm so happy to share this awesome, awesome little trick with you guys. So this is a Mediterranean cabbage salad, right? A Mediterranean coleslaw, if you will. And here's something that they do that's just a top-notch secret directly from the Mediterranean. And that is, we've got our raw cabbage here. We are actually going to apply some salt to this cabbage right now. Okay? And then we're going to mix it with our hands. And we're gonna let this sit for about 15 minutes before we put the dressing on it. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna start wilting this cabbage down. It's gonna give this cabbage a wonderful, incredible texture like you've never had before. Just trust me on this one, but as soon as you cut your cabbage up, remember to give it a couple of pinches of salt and just set it aside. And when we make our salad dressing, we're gonna back off the salt a little bit because we're pre-salting this already. But just trust me, this is an awesome tip and trick. Now, let's start working on this cabbage salad dressing and then we'll move over to our fish. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is smash up a nice big old fat garlic clove. Very important. Actually, it was two garlic cloves, okay? That's perfect. Okay, we'll mince this. In other words, we'll cut it up as fine as we can. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna squeeze two lemons. And I'm gonna add a half a blood orange. Look at the color on that puppy. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna chop up some fresh dill. I'm gonna add just a touch of salt. Some cracked black pepper. Okay, I'm gonna eyeball and see where we're at because I'm gonna add the same amount of oil as I have here. In other words, I'm gonna make this dressing to be one to one with the citrus juice and the oil. So there we go. Now I'm gonna add one portion of olive oil. All right, gentlemen, this is where we use a good quality extra virgin olive oil. You slowly drizzle it in and you vigorously stir it until we have the same amount of olive oil as we do citrus juice. Oh, by the way, don't add this salad dressing onto that cabbage just yet. We're gonna do that at the very end. Here is the nectar of the gods. We've got one part citrus juice. Remember, I squeezed two lemons and a half of blood orange, and then I've got the rest in olive oil. I've got garlic and dill, and a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay, and if you notice here, that sure seems like an awful lot of salad dressing, and it is, because I'm gonna not only use this as a salad dressing, but I'm also gonna to use it as a base while our rockfish are on the grill cooking away. I'll show you. Just check this out. It's time to go get the rockfish, by the way. All right, gang. So I have got three scorpion fish here. And by the way, in the Mediterranean, we have plenty of scorpion fish. 
and they're, they are truly loved all over the Mediterranean. Not only do we turn them into soup, but we put them on the grill all the time. So what happened was I got these, these scorpion fish and I wrapped them in plastic and I put them in the freezer. So they've already been gutted and gilled and cleaned. Of course, there are no scales, which is wonderful. And all I have to do now is cut some slits on each side and put some pepper on the outside. Remember, or if you guys know me or watch any of my videos, never put salt on the skin, especially if you want to crisp it up. But I will be putting some salt and pepper on the inside of the uh, gut cavity, along with some lemon wedges and some blood orange wedges. Remember the blood orange that we're going to add into our salad dressing and the base? It's also going to go inside the cavity. So let's prep these fish. So I'm going to grab some paper towels. And I've already rinsed these with some fresh water, but now I just want to pat them dry. That's the key to getting a beautiful skin on the grill, is the first thing you do is you pat the fish completely dry, so that when we add oil to it, there won't be any water. We don't want any water on this fish, because what will happen is it'll start steaming and then sticking to the grill, and we don't want that. The next step is I'm gonna take this beautiful Cuda knife. I love my Cuda knives. By the way, the links for these lives are down below. And if you have any questions about what I'm doing today, ask them down below as well. And I'll get back with you just as soon as I can. All right, just like with any whole fish, we're gonna make some slits in the side. One, two, to expose the thicker parts of the meat. One, two. Okay, now, we're gonna add some salt to the inside of the gut cavity, but not on the skin. There's some salt inside of the gut cavity and inside of the head, because you know we're gonna be chowing down on this head. All right, a little bit of cracked black pepper. There we go. And now I'm gonna put some olive oil all around the fish, in the gut cavity, in the head cavity, and all over the outside of the fish. Remember that blood orange? Here we go. I'm gonna cut it into some wedges. And I'm gonna stuff these wedges inside these slits. Okay, so this puppy is ready for the grill. Look at that. And finally, my lemon wedges on the inside. Boom. And boom. Put that in the plate and do the other two. Okay, and here's the last one. Bingo. Okay, we are ready for the grill. One real quick thing we have to do before we go to the grill is the base. Remember, we're gonna take our salad dressing, we're gonna cut it in half and use half of it for the base and half of it for the salad. Perfect. Perfect, okay. We'll get the paintbrush in here. Now we'll take the base and the fish, go over to the grill. Okay, the key, the key to making sure that the fish doesn't stick to the grill is the grill has to be clean. First you clean it, first you clean it, and then I've got a paper towel with some vegetable oil. Now I'm gonna oil the grill. Oh boy, oh that's piping hot, look at that. Okay, now we're ready for the fish. Number one, number two, and number three. Wow, 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 look at that, look at that. So you've got the fish on the grill, don't leave the grill. You gotta sit here, you don't wanna burn this precious fish. So you gotta sit here. Maybe it's a good time to crack open a beer. <laughs> I think it is. Oh, oh, perfect. And by the time I'm done drinking this or taking a couple sips, it'll be time to turn over these fish. I'm using a lump coal, hard coal charcoal that burns anywhere from 900 to 1100 degrees. Oh. Oh, a blonde ale. Love it. Ooh, 
It's got a little bit of a bite at the beginning, but it's got a nice sweet aftertaste. Mmm, and I can feel that effervescence tickling my tongue all the way down to my tummy. Oh, this is good. Oh, it looks like it's time to turn over the fish. Look, Ma, the skin is not sticking. Look at that. Oh boy, and fish number three. All right, it's time for baste. Wow, look at that. Whoa. See all that smoke that's kicking up? That's what you want. That smoke will come back up and reflavorize this fish. Okay, here goes number one. Oh wow, look at that. Perfect. Here goes number two. Wow, look at that. And number three. Oh boy. There's our lemons. Clean the grill because I want to put some bread on here too. Can't have a Mediterranean meal without bread. Wow, as soon as all that's done, then we're heading back in the kitchen with this. Oh my God. Okay, so we're back inside and it's final assembly time, my favorite time, and it's time for the next step. The next step is drinking some more beer. Oh my God. Wow, okay, so the next step is actually adding, remember we took the marinade or the salad dressing, we cut it in half, so I'm gonna add that half that we set aside because we didn't dip our brush into this and touch the fish onto the cabbage. Wow, all that dill and garlic and lemon and that blood orange. Wow, look at that. I hope you guys give this a try. And if you have any questions about today's meal or how to grill a whole fish, you saw how easy that was. Just ask them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Because I really want you guys to learn how to grill whole fish. There's nothing like it. So my salad's ready to go. And I'm gonna put it on my final presentation platter, right? Which is this, it's a fish. So I'm gonna spread the salad all over here. And I'm gonna create a bed to put the fish on top of. Fish number one. Wow, look at that. All right. Here's fish number two. And now for the last one. Fish number three. Ooh la la. <laughs> oh my gosh. And what about these grilled lemons? Oh, right here on the side. All right, fellas. Here you have it. Grilled whole rockfish on top of a Mediterranean coleslaw. Oh my God, there's nothing but lemons and oranges and garlic and dill and olive oil. What a simple, simple dish. You can, you can freeze your rockfish whole, come home after a hard day at work and put together this meal on the grill this summer and you'll get one step closer to becoming a fish grill master with this dish. Hey, I want to thank you guys for taking time out today. Again, my name is Yanni. This is Fisherman's Belly. I, I hope you give this a try. You're just going to absolutely love this dish. I'm going to plate this up. Oh my God. And just like a good Mediterranean Greek, I'm going to have some nice toasted bread with this and some beer. Oh my God. I'm going to be in heaven. I'll see you guys on the next one.